Welcome to CAT Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 4.3. So now this section talks about superposition, and just to quickly explain what superposition is about, it says voltage or current across an element is the algebraic sum of the contributions of independent sources. So universally, independent sources are shown by circles. So either a voltage source or a current source. And dependent sources are shown using a diamond shape, which is like this. And so what the superposition uh, theorem or property is saying is that if you take out this independent source and find the value of VO when you only have the 10, and take out this voltage source and find the value of VO when you only have the four and combine those two contributions or you combine those two values, which you get when either one is taken out, then that is your total value of VO. So just to rephrase or just to repeat what the superposition is about. So the value of VO, which you are gonna calculate promptly is the sum of the value which you get after ignoring the four amperes plus the value which you get of VO when you ignore the 10 volts. So what you do in superposition is you, you deal with one independent source at a time and you add the contribution of each to the variable of interest. In this case, it is VO. And if you had a dependent source somewhere in the circuit, you do not take it out, you do not uh, consider it when you're doing your superposition. This is only for independent sources. So let's continue to find the contribution of each of these. So we have two independent sources here, a current source and a voltage source. So depending on which one it is, they have different properties or you remove them differently. So when you remove a voltage source, you are gonna be left, so superposition, removing, let's talk about removing the elements. So in superposition, if you remove a voltage source, you'll be left with a short circuit. If you remove a, a current source, you'll be left with an open circuit, which is the same as not having anything at that point. So let's start with the contribution of the four amperes. So the four ampere contribution, so just to, just to show it mathematically, superposition says VO is equal to the contribution of the four amperes plus the contribution of the 10 volts, or however, or whatever number of dependent sources you have up to whatever number of independent sources. So in this case, we only have two. So we only have to worry about these two. Now finding the contribution of the four amperes, we are simply going to do a current division, right? So doing that current division, we're gonna say I, which are labels to be the current which goes through that side. So we can actually find the current which goes through the two ohms and finally uh, VO in terms of 4A. So we're gonna say uh, I is equal to four multiplied by five divided by three plus two and finally plus uh, five. And this is 20 divided by 10, which is two amperes. Right, and going back to this, you see that the I actually goes in the positive of the VO. So we're going to say that VO is equal to two multiplied by the same I, and doing that, we found I to be two. So two multiplied by two is going to be four volts, and that is the contribution of the four amperes, uh, by itself or when it is alone. So we now move on to the contribution of the ten volt. Or now what we do is we actually remove this for ampere current source. And as we said, when we remove the current source, we're left with an open circuit. And that is why there's nothing in between here. So to find the VO, which is across uh, this two ohm resistor, we actually do our voltage division. So it's gonna be 10, which is the value of that. So 10 multiplied by two, which is that, divided by two plus three plus five. So at the bottom we have 10, and then we can cancel out that. And the final answer therefore is two, two volts. So now have the, now have the contribution of both these things 
and therefore we simply add the con those contributions to find the final contribution of all the independent sources in the circuit. So we found this to be 4 volts, which is a contribution of the 4 amperes, and we found this to be 2 volts, which is a contribution of the 10 volts. And finally, we're going to add those two. So 4 plus 2 is going to give us 6 volts, which is the final answer of VO using superposition. You can now use a different method to find VO in the circuit, it should give you the same answer. But we we were uh, focusing on doing the same problem using superposition.